love bugs is rousing back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and i definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome and to my my returning subs my growing extended family thank you so much for the beautiful vibes that you send me each and every day um the just let me open up just opening it up to me with your lives just let me know how your your gift has impacted you in what kind of way or the things that you're currently going through and just knowing that you're healing from that is a true blessing and for that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you are comfortable enough, if you feel comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two because I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're opening up and telling me about your empathic gift that's been placed upon you and how it is has it impacted your life i'm trying to talk too fast but um if another video has been informative to you or even put you in a good place you, or you feel like the message you need to go ahead and you know pass it on to the next person because you never know if they might need it or not go ahead and give me a thumbs up like even share and i hope you're able to get something out of the content of my video today and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and today this beautiful music it is eight hours of deep sleep music chakra cleansing meditation music peaceful sleep meditation music i will post that link in the description box below and it's like sometimes we need that at least about once a week you need to clean your chakras at least about once a week so i like to use like i know last night i used the uh one of the sleep meditation ones um and that i woke up so peaceful and it was just like whoo okay i feel good now but I just wanted to go ro roll over and go right back to sleep. <laughs> but I know I had stuff to do. But anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, do you see, uh, do you feel your cipher? Do you feel your cipher? And it's just like, I was listening to Erica Badu today. That is my girl. I mean, that, that woman has got me through so many things. And it's just like, she like she's like me. You know, she uses those different analogies just to try to get a point across. And it was like when she was talking about this song, On and On, that song really, really, you know, I really uh, resonated with that song, you know. And a lot of other songs, but that one always really stuck to me. And it was just like, she said this thing about, her cypher keeps moving like a rolling stone and then she was talking about you know how she was born underwater with three dollars and six dimes she was like if you don't um something about if you don't do your math you don't know it if you don't do your math or something like that but she went and explained it and it's so deep about the things that we're going through right now and it's like not the conception of having a birth but actually a rebirth it's like it takes nine months of conception to grow you know for the things to heal inside your body and that's pretty much what we're doing right now we're becoming we're seeing our cipher we're seeing the products of our survival on the traumatic things that has really put a dent in our program and it's just to be able to feel our cipher like that i mean it brought tears to my eyes because it's like certain songs that you know are coming out is like so resonating with me right now and it was just like i was in a good mood and just listen i just wanted to listen to some music that makes you set your mind free like you just don't want to think about nothing you just want to listen to music and let the music take over you and you know feeling that good feeling you know knowing your cipher knowing that you did that 360 degrees you went through that rebirth you went through your awakening you know and knowing those things it has brought you from a traumatic dark place seeing that light is a true blessing so it's just like see the signs you know i tell y'all all the time pay attention to those signs and it's just a beautiful thing when you can feel that cipher and you just basically turned yourself a three a 360 degree angle it's just like you're not the person you were when you first started this journey you were confused you didn't know much about what the heck you were going through you didn't know if they even had a name for what you were going through you didn't even know that there was others out there like you but you had to take that leap of faith and notice that the things that were falling in your lap to let you know so much about your life that you weren't even prepared for 
So, it, I mean, it, it, I hear all these comments and it's just like, Rosalind, I lost my, you know, a certain family member or I just came out of a, a, a bad relationship or, you know, we all went through some traumatic things to basically have that that switch for our higher selves to be awakened it's like we've been so dormant for so long and it's just like it feels like that alien movie is like you know how they're going all in space and you're just sitting in that little cocoon thing which i look at that thing and i start hyperventilating because i'm like gosh are they able to breathe in that thing but they're like the little capsules and they're in there for months and weeks at a time i guess going back home and that's what we're doing. We're preparing ourselves for this rebirth. We're shedding old faucets. We're getting rid of toxic things. We're letting go of addictive things. And it doesn't have to be necessarily drugs. It can be drugs. It could be negative thinking about how you treat people, about how you treat yourself, how you look at yourself. Know your cipher. Know that 360 degree you. You know, get to know you. Get to love you. And it's just like when you know you're fully in love with yourself and you feel that love for yourself, you would be able to say, if I found someone out there that was just like me, I would have no problem with dating them. That's why I always ask people, you know, that some people get offended if I ask them, do you love yourself? And I'm not saying it to be sarcastic or patronizing or anything like that. But it's when people say, well, I'm tired of being alone. Nobody wants to be alone. And it's just especially with you being an empath and then if you're an intro, uh, introvert, you know, you're by yourself a lot. You don't want to be by yourself. It's just the fact of being alone is so lonely. And even though you want to be by yourself at times, it's just sad to be that way sometimes me I'm actually comfortable with it until you know it's just like if you're working on yourself and you're bettering yourself I feel like that's more important than you know you know that there's love out there for you you know if you believe in it because there's sometimes we've been through so many traumatic things and so many heartbreaking relationships to where you're like the hell with love the hell with this these men or the hell with these women or I'm gonna go gay or I'm gonna go this or I'm gonna go that you know it, it, these bad experiences can make you throw walls up, throw rocks up to where nobody can't get a hold of you. But you're tearing down those walls. You're opening up to the world. You're accepting yourself for what, for what you are. You're accepting your darkness and embracing your light. You know, so that is a good thing that you're doing these things. And it's just like I know there's some people feeling the same way out there. They're going through the same thing where, you know, you could be going through some traumatizing things and you're healing. And, you know, it takes time. It really takes time. And it's just like we want our blessings like right now. And it's just like it's a good thing when God and universe that work together for that perfect moment when things are coming into our life, you know, coming into fusion for our lives you know you can have the visions you can have the dreams you can have the signs and you have the feelings especially the gut feelings knowing something shifting you don't know what it is but you know something's coming but you just don't know what it is and it's just like everybody that i've been coming across lately your gifts have been heightened because it's just reading your 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 even your comments i can feel the energy through your words so it's just like just knowing yourself it seems like to me we're kind of like some daggone superheroes like we should be on some daggone marvel comics or something like wonder girls <laughs> but i'm serious y'all it's just amazing when you can actually you know feel the goodness in yourself even though sometimes it could it could take you into a negative spot especially if you're in a negative situation and you're really trying to find that positive that positive thing to head towards but it's just hard when you when you got so much darkness around you so much heaviness and you're trying to find that light like oh my gosh i'm just tired of all the heaviness being around me i just want to be you know peace of mind happy you know good lifting vibes even though you know you can't be that like that every day Oh my gosh, what bird is out here talking? But anyways, but yeah, you know, when you're going through all these crazy things and stuff like that, you know, like I said, pay attention to the signs. You, you know, you'll get an uplifting vibe and, you know, knowing yourself, not knowing exactly where the stuff is taking you, but no one is taking you towards something. It's like everything is a lesson learned, like. You're, you have to go through things. You have to have that trust. You have to have the faith in the universe that the universe is working in your favor. You know, sometimes it's hard to do that. I said, shoot, I'm, I'm, 
I'm suspect number one for that because there's times when you get so frustrated when things are going on around you and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, God, are you listening to me? Why are you allowing these, these people to keep doing this? Why are you allowing these things to keep happening? Even though I don't blame him for the things that they are, you know, there's just evil people like that in the world. But it's just like certain things will come in your path. You know, we have to let the universe work. You know, do their do their part. You know, it's just like you do so much, and when the universe tells you to step back and we got this, you need to let the universe work for you. You really do, and it's just like, you know, that's it. So you know, know your 360 degree you. You know, invite that in, embrace that. You know, and I know it's kind of hard to do, especially if it's something brand new about you. It's just like. It's about a, a surprise card you never know that you are about to receive. And somebody just gave you something with a little break, a little bow. And you got to be able to shift your body because you've been so used to that other car for so long. You don't finally got you a new car and you don't know how to act. So, you know, get to know your car. Get to, you know, see how you shift the gears. See see what makes it purr. You know, just all the, you know, you know me and these crazy analogies. I like to use them. But it's just like breaking them down to make you know what I'm talking about. It's, see, it's like, you know, Ralph, when I'm feeling you, I know what you're talking about. So, I hope you are able to get something out of this video. I, you know, today is the, well, actually, it's, it's Friday. So, when y'all get this, it'll be Saturday. So, I hope y'all had a lit turned up weekend or even enjoyed yourself with the peace and quiet or just just some pure happiness i hope you just had out through a long week you actually had a beautiful ending so you know stay safe send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can if your frequency low try to find something that makes you happy as long as it's not no no devilish you know negative stuff <laughs> go ahead and do something good for yourself but anyways like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video drop me a line i love to hear from you and i will see you on my next video peace love y'all and i'm out